Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I am going to show connection design in Idea Statica version 9. So let's start. Open it. You can go for connection design from quick access connection. We will design rafter and column connection today. So we will select this type of connection here. We can write CR1 and steel grade. We can change from here. Old assembly here from here we can change I will keep as it is by default oil grade this uh, we will keep default and concrete grade it is not available not applicable for this type of connection it is coming with the base plate connection and design code it is selected as American AIC design code so we will keep it like that there is other option also European and Canadian code we will go for American code and now create project okay this is our connection now we will save this project Shall design code AIC number one author Mayun. and this leave it I'll copy this one and I'll save save okay now in this version there is a great uh, tool that you can select from the 3d view to edit anything for the member data so we can select first we will select this rafter data from here you will get all the shapes you can choose according to your requirement i will keep as by default as it is and here you can change the steel grid it is coming uh, that grid we have selected in the beginning of the project and for column also you can edit from here here are the sections I will keep same as it is other this plate you can change the thickness on member column related to beam other section exposition you can change you can change inclination other offset all the things you can change from here now this plate this plate also you can change thickness here 14 millimeter if it is passing we will keep same like this if it is not passing failing for the connection plate then we can increase the uh, size and thickness now this is our bolt now here when we will click on the connection plate bolt option options will be available here see here is the bolt option as it is connected with it, this plate now here we can edit our layers we will create this one 45 then 50 then minus 50 another layer we can add minus 50 so in this way we can add our port I will keep 75 then 75 3 layer I will keep and from the bottom left layer minus 30 
right layer minus 4 30 that means 60 millimeter spacing bottom layer I will keep 75 let's check okay from here to here 75 distance then minus 75 okay so I am showing the way how can we add bolt rows in the connection maybe it is not required according to the design we will check later so in this way we can edit our connection here is our LRFD option you can choose HD option so it is always better to design in LRFD design option for AIC code and in this case you have to uh, apply the load according to LRFD load combination from the 3d analytical model we can check the load here is the loads see when you will click on this symbol then here will be the load option load combination or it is the envelope load envelope one we can copy from this one we don't need normally we take envelope load combination from the 3d analytical model share for example 125 and moment 125 this for example in another way we can import the joint reactions from csi sap stat pro and other some uh, 3d analytical software that reaction joint reactions will be available here and we can directly design the joint here so that one uh, that joint reaction exporting from SAP I will show later so this load we have applied this share and this moment okay we can add VOI as uh, this axial load 25 we will check this is in stress strain analysis mode so let's start calculate so all has been passed here the bolt is little bit looking this is not uh, failed but it is close to its capacity so we will check the stress strain we can calculate for buckling also here not calculate we will click on this to check buckling also so it is done so for buckling also it is okay this is overall check we will check strain mesh you can see by mesh view deformed this way we can check equivalent stress this is our stress result okay we can check bolt forces this is deformed this is undeformed shape we can eliminate the machine control and middle of the mouse to move the connection here we can check plate we can check bolt we can check weld so in this way we can design the joint for stiffness also uh, for member capacity design and joint design resistant we can design in the similar way so i am showing to design the design joint design resistance we will go to design first 
then we will go to click on this option then here is the load now we will go for calculate So this is this is our result for design resistance. You can check. So in design resistance here 94.3%. That means within the allowable limit, light, bolt, and other weld. In the similar way, we can check member capacity design, we can check stiffness, here is the equivalent stress graph. We can get report from this software, very precise report. This is in detail, this is the, our sections, old, load effect, check summary and this is for this is the stress diagram on the members port this is weld code setting all the informations are available here we can get bill of materials also Here is the table, plate, shape, number, length, weld. So everything is very organized and we can get a bill of material from this connection design also. We can export it to PDF also. This is the bill of material. So in this way, we can design connection in IDA Statica version 9. So in this version, new feature is you can select the member, then you can get the options for editing data. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned by subscribing my channel. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.